There are several witnesses uh, who say they met with President Trump on January 4th, and he offered some 20,000 National Guardsmen uh, to protect the Capitol building on January 6th, but the offer was rejected. Is that true? Do you know that to be true? Well, his own acting Secretary of Defense says that's not true. Chris Miller has testified publicly that Donald Trump never issued any order to deploy the Guard to protect the Capitol. Uh, and, and so I would point people to his own Secretary of Defense's public testimony. You sure about that? Hello and welcome back to yet another painful look at just how utterly corrupt Liz Cheney, the J6 committee, and our state media have proven themselves to be. As if there weren't enough weirdness surrounding January 6th, we now have more evidence that the entire thing was a setup. If you do a search for Deputy Chief of Staff Anthony Ornato, you'll find that he headed up the security detail for President Trump, served as Deputy Chief of Staff, and headed up training for the Secret Service. You're also going to find some media stories relating to his J6 committee testimony in November of 2022. Along with his attachment to Katie Hutchinson's tall tale about Trump trying to take over a limo in order to drive over to the Capitol. A claim Ornato denies. What you won't find in your search are any mainstream media stories about the testimony he gave in January of 2022. That's because it was purposely suppressed by Liz Cheney, the J6 committee, and our state media. That is until a reporter named Molly Hemingway from The Federalist broke the story and Senator Loudermilk released the actual transcript, which you can find a link to in my description. It is long, so I'm just gonna show you the relevant portions. During his testimony, Arnato is asked about a January 4th dining room meeting where it was supposedly brought up that 10,000 National Guard troops would be deployed on January 6th. Then responds that he remembers a conversation between Mr. Meadows and Mayor Bowser. He says that there was a concern about anti and pro groups clashing at the Capitol, and they wanted to know if she needed any more National National Guardsman. Ornato says that he remembers the number 10,000 coming up, saying, you know, the president wants to make sure that you have enough. He is willing to ask for 10,000. I remember that number. He testified that Mayor Bowser said that she was all set with 350. What's funny is that the transcript shows that Liz Cheney had no interest whatsoever in these questions and was only centered on that story that Kate Hutchinson had made up about Trump taking over a limo so that he could get to the Capitol on January 6th. And Ornato even clarified this later in the testimony that from what he remembered it was the chief just checking in with the mayor that the number 10,000 was thrown out and rejected by Mayor Bowser. Repent! So yeah, it's more than a little odd that this transcript has been kept secret up to this point and only after a story was broken about it, it's released to the public. It does look like a giant cover-up and if you go out looking for any mainstream news articles about the release of this transcript, you're not gonna find any. It's almost like the release of this news upsets the mainstream media narrative, which they can't have because in their heads, they're trying to save democracy, which they can only apparently do by turning this country into an Orwellian authoritarian nightmare. Now, if you're wondering what Liz Cheney has to say about all this, she chose X to lose her mind, which is the best social media platform next to YouTube. Make sure to give me a follow when you're done here. I do post frequently. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I still see you're spreading BS. You and the bozo who wrote this might want to actually read the 1-6 report. Secretary of Defense Miller's transcript, Trump never ordered 10K troops. Judge Wallace's findings, Cash Patel is not a credible witness. He's another guy that testified Trump did order the 10K troops, but a lot of people say he's not credible and I'm not really sure, so I just passed him over. Okay, so let's break this all down. For one, starting off with this childish name calling only proves that you're unhinged. The fact is we have video proof that Secretary Miller testified that Trump called Bowser to see how many National Guard troops she wanted, and here's the video clip. He asked if there were any requests for National Guard support and I informed him of Mayor Bowser's request. Mr. Miller, to, be, to clarify that point, did you tell the president about the mayor's request or did President Trump ask if there were requests? He asked if there were requests. What was the president's response to you with regard to the request made by Mayor Bowser? Fill it and do whatever was necessary to protect the uh, demonstrators uh, 
and uh, that we're executing our constitutionally protected rights. Chris Miller has testified publicly that Donald Trump never issued any order to deploy the guard to protect the Capitol. And now we have proof that Liz Cheney herself was suppressing this transcript and that Trump did specifically ask for 10,000 National Guard troops. How many did she request? Well, only a couple hundred, which we know from the now released transcript and the tweet that she posted at the time bragging about turning down the National Guard assistance. You probably also never heard about this testimony. But retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg testified that President Donald Trump did in fact request National Guard troops to be deployed in Washington, D.C. before the breach of the U.S. Capitol. Kellogg said that he was right there at the time of Trump's request, and he has been requesting that his testimony be released to the public ever since he gave it. Lastly, this judge that tells us to ignore our lying eyes and ears lied about being a Democrat donor who donated to an anti-Trump PAC specifically because of Jay six. This is just another example suggesting that our justice system has been weaponized against the Democrats opponents like Peter Navarro, who's about to go to jail for ignoring the corrupt lying J6 committee subpoena. And it must be different when Democrats do it because they've never gotten jail time for ignoring these subpoenas. Oh, that was different. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Keep checking back for more.